everyone in this video we are going to learn how we can design the small network imagine like you have the LAN network so in this video what we are going to learn how we can design the LAN network okay in the packet tracer so what I will do I will take three switch if you go here I will take three switch you can use one switch also but uh, imagine you have ground floor you have first floor you have second floor so for that purpose I am taking three switch you can take one also no issue in this one what we are learning how we can design the LAN network so what I done I taken three switch okay imagine this is your ground floor okay let me put the switch one in the first floor switch two in the second floor switch three in the third floor so these are the three switches we have and what we will do we will take some client some PC these two PC in the first floor and this two PC in the second floor and I will take this PC in the laptop this two laptop in the third floor and we can take one server also because this server is going to give the IP address this server we are going to use this server as a DSCP server I hope you remember DSCP is nothing but dynamic host configuration protocol so DSCP the role of the DSCP is to give the IP address to our machine okay so now let me connect so I have the cable I will connect this here I will connect to this machine this is a small setup about the LAN network this is a small setup for the LAN network and I will connect the switches now we are not using any VLAN so no need to create the trunk no need to create the VLAN we are using all by default VLAN 1 so in this lab this is a basic lab just to have the overview about the LAN network we are not using any VLAN so no need to create the trunk also because all ports are in the VLAN 1 so all VLAN 1 traffic will go to all the machine so no need to worry for that one okay so what we will do now we will assign the IP to this server if you see here we don't have any IP address here nothing is set up so let me rename here I will say DSCP server DSCP server this is a DSCP server which is responsible to give the IP address to our machine so I will go inside first of all I am going to assign the IP address to this machine this is a IP config I will go to IP config then I will go here I will assign 192 okay 192.168.1.1 I will give 1.1 to this machine and gateway I will give 192.168.1.2 now we are not using any gateway but I give here later maybe we can bring one router and connect the router and we can uh, give the internet to our machine but now it is only LAN network we are not connecting this to internet this is in small network inside the home or inside organization a small organization we are not using any internet connection now okay so this one everything is okay I assign the IP now to this server after that I will go to the services in that one I will go to DSCP and you need to on that services after that you can assign the gateway whatever you are planning to give so I will give here 192.168.1.2 as we told this will be the gateway and DNS we are not using but let me give the Google DNS later we can use also even if you did not give this no issue okay and we are asking start the IP address so from where what range our DSCP server should start giving the IP address so I will say give the IP from this range from start from 10 okay so 192.168.1.10 .1 from this range they are going to give the IP after that I will save this one okay so this pool whatever the default pool they save this value and we are not using WLC controller we are not using the TFTP server so no need to worry about this one this is a basic configuration of the DSCP server just you need to do this one and enable the service that's all after that what you can do you can go to any machine and go here in the desktop and click the IP config and here in the IP configuration you need to select the DSCP and you need to wait after some time if you see DSCP request successful okay DSCP request successful and you get the IP 192.168.1.10 I hope you can see here right let me zoom in so here if you see 
DSCP request successful and you get the IP 192.168.1.10 and this is the subnet mask and this one is a what we can say this is a default gateway and this is a DNS. So this way we get the IP for the computer that is a PC one. If you want to check for PC two also go here and click and IP config and just click the DSCP. This machine also get the IP. You can do for all the computer like this you will get all machine will get the IP okay so let me do fast so you, we can save the time here also I will select so it will take some time and you will get the IP so let me do here also so what I will do I will select here also DSCP and I will go here and I will select here also DSCP so you will get and if you want you can uh, install the printer also this is a printer maybe you can connect your printer somewhere here let me go here I will connect this printer also okay this is the printer you can go here in the fast ethernet and uh, here you can select the DSCP okay when you select the DSCP your printer will get the IP also but in the real scenario we are keeping the static IP for the printer but for this lab purpose we can get the IP from the DSCP server no issue and here if you see here we are getting the APIPA IP if you see here I am getting the APIPA IP why I get this IP if we have any issue with our DSCP server we are going to get the APIPA IP or if there is any issue with our port because here the spanning tree protocol is working here STP spanning tree protocol was working here till that time uh, to do the selection of the port that's why we get this APIPA IP now what I can do I can again go to the static and again I will click the DSCP so we will get the dynamic IP that is a I get the correct IP from our DSCP server. So what we are saying we have our DSCP server from that server we are getting the IP to our printer. So this is the printer IP you can access you can ping from here you can give the print command and you can get the printout from this printer. If you want to test you can ping from you need to remember this is your printer IP okay 192.168.1.16 just go to this machine and uh, go to the command prompt and write here ping let me write here ping 192.168. is coming miss you are able to access the printer okay so the, what we can say this is a small basic lab this is a small basic lab just to design the LAN network okay just to design the LAN ne network this is a small scenario Imagine I am saying this is a three floor. This is a first floor, second floor, third floor. Maybe this is a only first floor only. All the computers are present in the first floor. You have three switch. Okay. Take any situation. You have three floor, first floor, one second floor or only one floor. No issue. But this is the basic lab to set up the LAN. LAN set up inside the packet tracer. In real scenario also you will set up like this and what we will do we will create the VLAN and we will put this port in the trunk okay but now we are not using any VLAN so this is a only VLAN one all switch port by default in the VLAN one so everything is working perfectly but if you put this port in different VLAN then you will have the issue you need to make this interface as a trunk the link which is connecting between the switch we need to make that one as a trunk no issue in our next class we are going to discuss that one also so no need to worry just here what we learn how to design or how to set up the LAN network in the packet tracer. I hope you enjoy this video in case if you have any question write in the comments and also what you can do you can join our telegram channel there we are sharing all the configuration and the topology and our notes sample notes so you can download from there okay. So I hope this is okay now we can end the session thank you.